What's up, Fight Fans? This is Anna here to do a fight review on Brandon Bam Bam Rios and Miguel Acosta from Venezuela. Well, let me get straight into it. Um, Bam Bam Rios is a very controversial boxer, but does do great things for the community <clears throat> of which he lives in. He does good things. Um, well, back to the fight on him. Brandon Bam Bam Rios is a very good, hard nosed Mexican American fighter. Um, he's from Garden City, Kansas. Um, I mean, he, he really does his thing. His rival is Victor Ortiz. He's always talking about Victor Ortiz and a lot of his interviews and how he wants to face him down the line. Garcia would like to see him face American or Juan Manuel Marquez or such. But he will have two fights at 135 before he goes up to 140 to fight all the big names. Uh, these two no fights, but not fights to take easily or take lightly, is against the first one is Venezuelan. Uh, <clears throat> Miguel Acosta. Miguel Acosta is a very good boxer, pretty long, very rangy boxer. Um, he's from Miranda, Venezuela. Uh, he resides in Caracas. Uh, his nickname is Agua Cerrito, and um, he's very, very good. You know, he is the current WBA World Lightweight Champion after knocking out Paulis Moses on May 29, 2010. He has a very good hard right hand, very good overhand right, and he has a pretty good jab. But will he be able to maintain that jab against the hard-nosed, um, very, very, very traditional Mexican-style boxing of Bram Bam Rios? He looks up to fighters such as Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. and Antonio Martelito. Why you look up to these people? Because they're very good, hard-nosed, come-forward fighters that don't complain and they throw lots of punches and bunches. And that's his style. He throws punches and bunches. He picks his punches very well, doesn't waste too much, and he's a very good body puncher. He has great uppercuts. And he has a great straight right hand. He will hurt you if he catches you in the corner. He will finish you. That's what I like about Randy Bam Bam Rios. Miguel Acosta is more of a... He, he, he can fight too, but he's more of a boxer. Will the boxer beat the puncher this time? I really figure not. I see it being, you know, him doing well to be a competitive for about eight rounds. And then in the middle of the eighth round, I see him getting TKO because of too much pressure by Brandon Bam Bam Rios. Bam Bam Rios is trained at the Oxnard Gym in um, California. Um, he does a very good job. And uh, I've seen him train, you know, he's always in great shape. He's always working very hard. Throwing lots of punches and you know having good sparring. Uh, he works with Robert Garcia, uh, the trainer of Nonito Benair, and other good fighters. Um, he's a very, very, very good trainer who really cares for his, you know, his boxers that he trains. I just see Ben Man Rios being too focused. He's undefeated. Um, I can break down his record for you guys. He's 26 wins, 18 by knockout and one draw so and i let you know that he's, he's legit you know he's legit um this is like i said it's gonna be for the wba world lightweight title um this will be at the palms hotel and casino las vegas nevada february 26 2011. do not miss it you guys this will be a very 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 great fight um i really see them throwing down and giving the fans what they want. Um, let's see. The only win I see that's really noticeable for Miguel Acosta was the Urbano in Tileon. And um, that was a pretty good fight. You know, that was a pretty good fight. I just see, you know, Bam Bam Rios is having too much pressure and just too much timing. And he's going to catch him in the later rounds. So you guys tell me what you think about this fight. Um, like I said, we all know what Brand Bam Bam Rios brings to the table. He's going to bring that Mexican American spirit. You know, he's going to bring that passion. He's going to come forward. He's going to throw a lot of punches and bunches. Um, you're going to see more boxing from Miguel Acosta. And if you're the true boxing fan, you know about these guys. You know, if you're just a casual boxing fan, you probably won't get two shits less. But that's okay, though. For everybody that um, wanted to hear about the fight, well, let me go ahead and give you Miguel Acosta's record too. 28 wins, 3 losses, and 2 draws. So this is not a pushover fight. And I'm pretty sure he's training just as hard as Bam Bam Rios. Anyway, this fight will be a 135 WBA title on the line. You guys in the comment section below tell me what you think about Bam Bam Rios. 
and tell me what you think about uh, Miguel Acosta. Anyways, <coughs> this is Ant recording. <coughs>